Morning everyone. I've recently had to do with a student that adopted Civil 3D. Kudos her and she went back to work and then she started working on a file. But unfortunately the unit on the labels that she was using was incorrect. So I looked into this and it flummoxed me a little bit as well until I figured out how to do it. And I'd just like to demonstrate this to you. Firstly there's an alignment that's running along this road over here. And I'm going to input a label, an alignment label. I'm accepting the default and I'm adding onto that alignment. There is my label. Of course, I can move this label around. Let's just make it a bit better to see. And there is the That's what it's reading. Right. It's got a stash in it and offset, and there you can see it's giving me a feet distance that's covered in feet. If I move the label down a bit, there you can see it's an offset of 42 feet, 42.94 feet. And I'd, I'd like to change this into meters. So obviously, the person that set this label up. Uh, they might have made a mistake with the unit and I'd like to change that. So I select the label, I can go here to the label properties, edit the label style. There we go to edit that style. And on the layout tab we'll find something that says contents and there is some contents that goes over there. Actually, initially one might think, oh well, all I do is I select the correct um, category and then I just add whatever information and then I update the label. But it doesn't work like that. Because what that will do is add another line where your cursor is, it will add another line of information to the label. And that's not what you want. What you're looking for is the offset. There you can see the offset. You can see how the cursor jumps. If I'm on an item over here and it's highlighted, then the property category jumps. There's the offset that I'm looking for. So, I'd like to have this in meters. And then I update that by clicking on the arrow. There you can see there was a slight bit of a change there, but notice also the extra text that is added in here to indicate that it is feet or meters that I need to add in manually. Now once all of this is done, I say OK. And OK. And OK. And now I can find that it's, it's giving its reading as meters 13.09. I'm going to change it back again. Go to the label style. OK. Edit that. And go to this. 13.09, okay. remember. See that it changes. We go to the offset property under there. Change that to feet. Change the unit to feet. So OK. Add that, yes. Yep. OK. 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 And you can see it's updated to 42.94 feet again. Right. So that's how you would go about changing the units of the readings that you find within labels. Remember, you don't only have the label properties up here on the contextual room, you can also go to the settings and you'll find them here under the alignment label styles. You should find there that we've got the label sets alignment station offset label styles. There you go. If you right click on this and you say edit, it will take you through to the same dialog where you can get hold of the text that you need to change.
So manage your styles. You can change them when you need. Remember to click on the item that you would like to change. Change the value. Update that change. And then just manually switch out the unit that you reported. Okay. Okay. And there it changes back again. And that's true for most of these labels. But I hope you've enjoyed this short video showing how to change the units on labels within Civil 3D. Remember to click on the item that you want to change, update it, and then go update. Remember if you're in a clean space and you're just adding a category on the property, then it will just add that information to the label in addition to what is there already. Until next time, enjoy Civil 3D.